Hello, everybody. Poison Knight here. We are back at it again at Stone Sharp Permadeath with Jorgrim and a two-handed axe. Now, in the last episode, we did take on the Bandit Dungeon, successfully going through that. And we also took on the Catacombs and successfully took through that. Now, we're going to be heading over to the Bandit Dungeon. But, of course, before we do that, even though I sold everything, and even though I promised you guys I was going to prepare, well... I realized I forgot to prepare completely. So we're just gonna check that real quick. Actually, no, we don't need to go to him. But I was seeing if Bert sold anything useful this time. But no, he didn't. So who would have guessed? But you, on the other hand, are also not selling me anything, which, sure. Not that I can really buy what I want. Anyways, I wanna get that uh, red leather um, item. But, you know, there's no way I can buy that with 900 gold. We do need these, though. Because that dungeon is not something I want to underestimate. So, uh, actually, wait. They just look like the same name. Um... What is the dungeon I go to again? <laughs> They're both the same name to me, anyways. How can we kick? Okay. It's, I think that was the bottom one, right? No, top. Okay. Okay. Cool. You know something? I've been ever since the last episode, I was saying about with the whole like what level distribution you should have. But now that I've really looked at the uh two-handed axe, oh wait, I want those. Two-handed axe tree, you get a lot of crit anyways. I wonder if only strength on a great hand, the uh, two-handed axe is actually okay, anyways, and all kinds of, uh, and all kinds of like, um, like weapons you can have. And also to mention this, the lumberjack axe is a lot stronger than I thought, or at least the weaponry of it. Like, okay, so okay, hear me out. Maybe not the lumberjack axe itself. But like the upgraded versions of it, only because uh, you get a lot of crit efficiency. Now, the weapon itself, the weapons themselves either have pretty much this, or crit efficiency and a little bit of like whatever it's supposed to have. But crit, crit and crit efficiency are not together, except on one weapon, but that weapon is like your beginner weapon and it's outright terrible. But... So I feel like with the upgraded versions of the Lumberjack Axe, because you get a lot of crit from the tree itself, I think it is actually one of the better weapons to use on the long run. Especially since there's a lot of body part damage on there, when I saw that last time. And I mean a lot of body part damage. So, it's something to, like, really consider. And probably the next time I... Oh, wait. What the blueberries? That. Mainly for this. Um... I guess we could just eat all of that. We have a wolf pelt, but quite frankly, it's going to get dropped real soon. Starting with this, right? Yeah, starting with this. But anyways, we want some bleed resistance, because I'd really rather not fight the bandit boss and not have a boost of it somehow. Other than that. Oh, okay, never mind. So let's get the two flea warts on the bottom area because there's usually something there there's usually two or three flea warts yeah there they are 
there has to be a path to there. I think if there's no path at all to there, like, um... Okay, this is not a good example. They all have a path, but... I know with the... Why is this on average? Huh. I know with the bandit dungeon specifically, sometimes there's not a path there, and uh, you won't get any fleet works there. That's strange. Why is that on average? I'm still, like, thinking about that. Okay. Well, anyways. Like these... But you sell bad. No thanks, no thanks. And then we can just leave that there. Doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. Good to know. that guy hear me or not? I feel like he heard me, but he's not gonna want to come here. Um, and the problem is, if he's a spear guy, it's gonna be bad for me. So, uh, let's do some exploring. How did you not... Oh, I fumbled. None of these... Set spikes. Hmm. Easy stuff. How well do you sell? Also sells pretty badly. Jeez. What's with the two animaces? Come on, step it up, you guys. I'm gonna sell better than that. Ooh. This is an awkward position. Um. on head grab this you're in awesome condition hold on wow you so wait hold up this is actually the higher tier of those of the axes oh my goodness lumberjack axe Norse axe, there was an elven axe, or something like that. There was an axe that had like 30% crit efficiency, so this one has 50% crit efficiency, and then the last one has like 75% crit efficiency. This is the fourth strongest weapon of the axe of the lumberjack axe tree. Wow, and it's on nearly perfect condition. I don't even need to spend money on this. Rip, oh. I wonder if I could use it right now, actually. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Good. Ah, uh, come on. Don't you. This game is doing me dirty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Still making it out. We definitely need to heal though. Why doesn't it say I can use an ability? 
Unless I'm sitting. Yeah, it's because I'm sitting. When will this break? This should break at around 85. 83, actually. Okay, we're fine. You know what, I'm gonna switch into the other weapon. Even though this is really good, this depends on more crits if anything. Granted, this has a lot of body part damage. Maybe, no, maybe I could stick with this, but I think I'll be at a best use once I get like this, because this gives me crit chance, passively. And then even more stronger once I get that uh, red leather uh, chest armor. And then, you know, this would also help a lot, of course. And I still need to find throw bows. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, wow, there's really no good spot. Um, darn it. I think the best thing to do is actually approach him. Now, book it. Maybe he might step on this trap. Who knows? Or, no, he's being confused about it. Okay. I guess I'll take this time to heal. Oh, that, that could happen. I forgot about them. Why is he being so weird about this, though? Enemies, please do let me know. Until then, he's being weird on this spot for some reason, so I will take advantage of like preparing myself. Okay. Oh boy. And then on this part here, we're just gonna flee ward him so we can get the bleed resistance and eat all the blueberries we have. Without getting, uh, actually, no, we can get some. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get him, trap, get him! So that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to disable them, but he was being funny about it instead. <laughs> oh my god, all that preparation for nothing. <laughs> Well, uh, let me see. Uh, one of the titles is... Oh. You know, I might have spoken too fast. I was gonna think... I was gonna say, like, uh, you okay, dude? That's, like, one of the titles. <laughs> I think I found a new title. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> is there a kitchen around here? It would be kind of nice. Nah, I think I'll, I think I'll say like you okay, dude, or something like that. Because at least mine was not intentional or buggy. I just did not see it coming. But that dude, however, he was he was strange about that one. Failed it twice. <laughs> All right, specs just in case. Have 
these things, but no, we can just eat this. And then we can get rid of that. I want to find a kitchen so I can drink all the water. Well, there is still here. And we know there's an enemy over there. Oh, we already went through here. Okay, so that means we're going here. Okay. <laughs> so weird. But at least I understand now that he can attempt to disable the traps. Whoever's watching this video, quite frankly, you're about to learn something today. A repair kit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to see how much this needs to be uh, repaired on the shop. And uh, I think this sold for like 200 gold, if I remember correctly. So, you know, if this needs to get prepared for like 500 gold, we're going to just use up this. Anywho. Um, we have lockpicks. I don't think we need the crowbar. And the potato is just whatever to us. Oh, we have two lockpicks. Okay, we really don't need them. What's up? I should not be standing here. It does not matter. He blocked that. He took 36 damage and he blocked that. Oh my goodness, this axe is phenomenally powerful. I cannot wait to be in full gear. <laughs> oh my god, another heavy <laughs> another heavy axe. Okay. <laughs> they sell well, so we want those. Just the case. Okay. This is kind of broken. I wonder if it's when it's that broken. Seven hundred, five hundred. Wow. Get this in here. Identification. Huh. Guess we can get rid of the bandage now that the bandit boss is dead. Oh, wait, we can purge this. Now, I kind of want to grab this only because we have potions that we can get. So, yeah. Pretty sure we're straight to. Uh to the left side and then slant down twice so i think we're fine with that onion oh my goodness there's an onion here hold on actually oddly enough i would rather have uh in the condition i am in right now i think i'd rather have the mead over the this because we still have intoxication and we still have not found a kitchen yet so we cannot like get reckless on that Oh, let's deal with you. And your spear guy. Yay. 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 Run away. Oh, I want to 
need to explore that dungeon more, but I just lost all my supplies, like healing supplies, and now we're kind of in a conundrum because I, if I go in there and he immobilizes me again, I'm dead. <sighs> but remember, guys, spears are bad. Anywho, let's just go back. I think I'm just done with it. And I was right. Oh my goodness. I was right. I even said it right as we turned around. If we don't find anything we can really throw, which we actually could have thrown a couple of things at the door, and there's a spear guy over there, we might be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we were in trouble. That and here. Actually, there was a bear over here, so I gotta be careful with that. Was there? I don't remember. No, 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 no. There was no bear. Oh, whoops. Never mind. I was doing a lot of uh, like throw testing, and I think there was a bear at like that particular corner, so I might have gotten confused with that. And yes, I'm still doing throw testing because there's a lot of interesting things I'm discovering about that. So, yeah. Alright, well, other than that, it looks like morning is rising, but it's not here. Let's check. See if I need to use this real quick. Four hundred and fifty-two, eight hundred ten. I mean, one hundred and eighty. Okay. Well, let's use this once, twice. Whoa, we have less kits on this, right? 12, okay. I think you have less kits on this, but whatever. Well, my axe. No, actually, I'm still gonna probably use you. Maybe not, actually. Maybe I'll just stick with this. How much crit do I get with this? How many do I have with this? Yeah, 13 ain't bad. And then if I follow it up with this, it's probably gonna kill somebody. Yeah, I need to get some more crit somehow anyways, but 13 to 16 is still pretty low. Yeah. Okay. Well. You were well lived. And I wish I didn't buy you, Kyle. I kinda wish I didn't buy you. I did not realize I can get this kind of axe on the level 2 bandit dungeon, so, uh, yeah. I might even not, I might even not be able to sell everything. Oh, well, what do you know? Never mind. And to Bert, we sell these uh, pretty crystals, rock things to you. And that. Hold on to this. Sell this to Drug Boy. And then on the next episode, we want to like really spike up our money count. So in the next episode, we're just going to go through the crypt. Because there's no better place to get money than robbing some skeletons. Off. I want to manage this real quick so I can actually be prepared to go to the dungeon next time. But I got this, we got 
this. We definitely want two of the splints. This is our food. Although we're gonna need more. The map goes here. Gold is there, and I think that's it, right? Or do we want leeches? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just put a leech there. Maybe another one of this. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna shop. Actually, we'll keep a vivifying essence in our inventory too while we're at it. Agreement and all that junk. Show me the goods. Give me this. Oh, we have a water skin. Oh, that was on the spot that was supposed to go there. Oops. Too bad we couldn't really explore the bandit dungeon more. Those spear guys are not something I want to toy with. If you guys liked the content, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, you can also leave them in the comment section below. I'll be making sure I'll be reading those things, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.